Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this slightly different type of video, I'm going to be talking to Jordan Harry, who's a triple jumper, and he's also an expert at teaching speed reading and ways to improve your memory. Well, what's that got to do with athletics? Well, it's going to teach you how to improve your performance by reading more about your event and how to read more effectively. And Jordan is also going to talk about some memory tips, ways to improve how you can remember to do certain things, which is obviously going to be crucial when you want to learn, for example, the technique of your event. So let's hear from Jordan. Hey there, everyone. My name's Jordan Harry. I'm the CEO of Study Fast, where I teach people to read faster and remember more. And I'm also a triple jumper. So when I'm not teaching people how to read faster, I jump into sand. So how does speed reading and memory training help with triple jump or athletics in general? Well, the first one is that by reading more about your event, you improve. It's that simple. And the way you can do this is by starting a tiny habit. Tiny habits are brilliant. This is simply saying to yourself, I'm going to read about my event, about my discipline for two minutes each day. Now, two minutes may not sound like a lot, but that is the science behind it. Because it's so small, you're more likely to do it. And what you'll find day by day, as you keep to this routine of reading for two minutes, some days you'll read longer than two minutes. And it's all about consistent, effective repetition. So by starting a tiny habit like that, you'll see large improvements. Now, not only creating a tiny habit, such as reading every day, memory. We all have forgotten our spikes, our spike bag, our tape measure, our lifting chalk. This is common, and the way you can make sure that you never forget something at home ever again is by putting things into the same place every single day. This comes down to having your wallet in your left pocket. It takes the whole process of memory out of the equation, knowing that if it's not in my left pocket, where the hell is it? It's the same with remembering your spikes, putting your spikes into a certain bag or in the boot of your car and leaving it there. So if you can't find your spikes, ah, it's gotta be in the boot of my car. And if it isn't, well, then you've got a headache. And finally, tell yourself a story. We used to do this when we were kids, and this is why kids rarely forget things. If you need to remember to do something when you get to the track or to the gym, create a story. So for example, I needed to remember to buy myself a new nightcap and to get a massage. So I remembered that when I got home, there was me outside my house on a massage bed with a nightcap on. Such a weird abstract image. I hope to never see myself topless in my short shorts with my nightcap on getting a massage outside my house at 9 p.m. But because it's so vivid and visual, our brain loves that and it hooks onto it. So then when we get to our house, we see that visual image and we're like, ah, yes, I need to put myself a massage and buy myself a new cap. So that's how speed reading and memory training has helped me and can help you in your athletic pursuits. The next question John wanted me to ask was how is triple jump going? Well, at present, my PB is 14 meters, 51, I believe. Go check that on the power of 10. And this season, we'll be looking to go for that promised 15 meter land. On top of that, with triple jump, it's extremely impactful on the knees. If you speak to any triple jumper or long jumper or high jumper, you will find that we will have some sort of knee problems. So for me, this season, one of the main goals is looking after these knees and touch wood. So far, that's the case. The next question was, what aspects of the triple jump are my most toughest and what do I enjoy the most? But we'll start with the positives. What I enjoy most about triple jump is the transferability. At present, I do karate. And what I find is regardless of what sport you do, to a degree, there's so much I can be taken over to triple jump. Whether it be strength, speed, mobility, there's gonna be elements that you can take into triple jump and take from triple jump into another sport. I'm biased in saying it, but I feel as triple jumpers, we are probably the most well-versed athletes because we have to be weightlifters. We have to be sprinters and we have to be jumpers. The next aspect that I enjoy is to travel. I'm fortunate enough to say that as you get better with athletics, it's the easiest sport to go far in. Now, the toughest part. 
toughest part for me is the 80 20. We spend 80% of our time training in triple jump and 20% competing. And I really struggled with this at the beginning. And you often get um, competition athletes and training athletes. Athletes that perform better in training than they do in competition. So my personal goal is to compete as much as possible, as long as my body can. I know some athletes and coaches won't recommend that, but for me, I want to get so much from this sport. And the second part is remembering the deadlines for competitions. And this comes back to memory. It's ironic, right? A memory trainer forgetting when to submit an application for a deadline. Athletics is a cruel world where if you hear about an event and it's a couple weeks away, and then you go to apply online, you've missed the deadline, they will do nothing for you. It doesn't matter if you're Greg Rutherford or if you're Jordan Harry, they just won't let you in. So the one way I now manage that is I have a calendar on my notes of all the events I did last year, plus some I want to do this year. And I have the deadlines, so I'm well in advance with reminders of when to submit my applications. And the final question that John wanted me to answer was tips for aspiring jumpers. Well, the first one is don't let athletics or anything be your only identity. The fear with that is if you say, oh, I'm an athlete, well, what happens is if you get injured, who are you? And this is common, I think we can all relate. When we get injured, we're known by our friends as Sam Amfer, the triple jumper, or Jason, the pole vaulter. The problem with this is we have a social impression that we have to keep up, especially on social media. Hey, why haven't you posted any training videos? I need to post this gym session today, but it didn't count. It's these little things that can cause us massive mental issues. So I encourage you to embrace your multi-dimensionality in the sense of you're not just an athlete. You can be so much more. You're a son, you're a husband, you're a martial artist, you're an artist. You need to look to embrace your other passions and your other hobbies. Because when you do come back to the track, you'll have a lot more energy. And this is great to switch on and off.